Taurus, welcome back to Mystical Illuminations. It's your girl Merch, the Big Body Bench. Run, tell them. The Big Body High Priestess, somebody come see this. I popped and say hey, introduce myself. I figured we just jump right in and chat. Talk about what's going on with you at this time. I was getting a lot of messages, man. Having, having a lot of work to do, having a really heavy workload. A brand new, really heavy workload. Somehow, somehow miraculously managing to stay on top of this, being on your A game, yo, being better than everyone who doesn't have half as much work to do as you do, that's the truth, yo, going really hard, being exhausted and still somehow slacking, that being crazy, it being crazy how efficient you are, whatever you're doing, still being able to, to, to slack off and be comfortable, move comfortably, eat comfortably, <laughs> you weren't always you weren't always here it wasn't always quite like this it's kind of crazy though it went from being really chill listening to music relaxing to getting sad you're having waves of emotions at this time really intense some of you picked up some really bad habits all over again you broke some bad habits for a while Gave up on something for a while, put it down, put it to the side. All of a sudden, you're doing it again. Somebody, some of you, somebody pushed you to the point. Somebody stressed you out so bad. Someone stressed you out so bad. Or, yeah, heavy on that energy. Of having so much on your plate of being so stressed somehow, arguing with someone so, so much, that it drove you back to fucking drinking, or it drove you back to smoking, or this is what you're saying, this is what you're blaming, blaming it on. But legit being stressed for some of you and picking up your bad habits again for some of you starting all over again or st starting new for the first time I should say. Picking up some really bad habits being in a new environment or having a heavier workload something being brand new a new life. Not being adjusted that's for sure. Not being okay that's for sure. No one knowing this though no one being able to tell. You're really being out of it. Somebody's eyes, eyesight is bothering them. It's really, it's it's really messed up. It's really foggy. A lot of squinting. Somebody got hit somehow. Something's going on with somebody's eye. That's for some of you. I was hearing this message of some of you really don't know what uh, intimacy is. Really struggling to know what intimacy is. Some of your partners are feeling really neglected because you think that intimacy is just when you initiate sex. Like heavy on thinking that just, you know, you randomly going down on your partner means that uh, you're showing your affection and that's great. That's, 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 uh, it's a love language for sure. But that not being, that being your love language or that being how, what you know and not necessarily being healthy because you don't know other ways to show your affection or to be intimate with your partner. The same, this, this, you, you may do this, but your partner doesn't feel seen. You don't know how to sit down and really talk to them or just listen. Ooh, listen. You don't know how to ask them about themselves. You're not cuddling with them, hugging on them, kissing them, that type of energy for some of you. Or you're dealing with a partner like this. You're really being really you being uncomfortable with intimacy or affection. It being awkward somehow. Someone really is dizzy or really tired, so tired that they're dizzy, not feeling well. A lot going on. You need to take care of your health. You're not taking care of your health, Taurus. You're putting a lot of bad things in your body or your body's talking to you and you're ignoring it. <laughs> you're getting distracted you're procrastinating your work they're not even being they're not even being your thing it's not even what you like to do you know with the starting and stopping but normally you would breeze through certain things so it's taking you much longer to accomplish things these days or stay focused you're really noticing it become it becoming problematic. Someone is not. Someone is making it seem as if you're acting out. You're lashing out, having a temper tantrum, and it's not warranted. 
you're getting angry, you're going, you, you, you're doing too much, going overboard isn't warranted, but it is. Someone's nauseous, someone's really nauseous and they're making me nauseous, someone's pregnant. Someone's nauseous, or they're having stomach issues. Heavy on the, being nauseous because you're pregnant, it's not fun. I don't need that energy in my life. Someone's, someone's nauseous because uh, people know something with what's going on. It's, it's out in the open. It's not a secret. You're embarrassed. So much attention, too much attention on something or negative attention is really embarrassing. Your channel, you, you had some channel songs. Your first channel song was I Need a Girl by Trey Songs. Everyone in Masculine uh, Tour is really deciding that it's time, man. They they want love in their life. They want their partner to really act like for some of you this is about uh, someone trying to really, really uh, be transparent about where, how they don't feel loved in their relationship. Not feeling hurt, but saying this only in the middle of an argument for some of you though. So you get absolutely nowhere. Talking about where you don't feel appreciated or you don't feel loved, you know? You feel like you're getting the short end of the stick of masculine Taurus somehow, but d the timing being all off, doing this in the middle of an argument, you know, telling someone, you, saying some really emotional things, saying some real permanent things, uh, some real permanent words and temporary feelings, but also harboring these feelings for, for a long time. Having some things that you've been stuffing down, have stuffed down for a very long time, them coming out only when you're really angry, so they're not really being uh, received like you need them to be received. They 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 feel like an attack on whoever you're talking to, even if it's valid. Even if there's some truth to it, or in between in between the screaming or the yelling or the, the you know however toxic it gets, some of you name calling. It really getting bad, it getting even physical for some of you. Between all of that was is really a masculine just saying I want some love, I don't feel seen, you know, I don't feel appreciated, that type of energy. You know, trying to tell his partner this is what I need from you. This is what I want from you. You know. Really acting out temper tantrums really bring a cry for help or a cry you know, to, to for, for love. <laughs> there being some issues, though, there that the communication being so off that this person can't be transparent. This masculine can't be transparent and really communicate uh, his true emotions, what he's really angry about. He can just act, all he can do is act out where he can't find the words where he, he legit is and isn't being listened to, isn't being heard. <laughs> By whoever he's going back and forth with. It's not necessarily a feminine uh, energy either. That he's going back and forth with. They're being a... Uh, uh, right, so so it, the next song... I went into the next song. I let it play. I let the music play for way too long when I was getting... A, I just wanted one song, but, but I decided to let it play. And you're getting messages through music. You're being really connected to music. You're really loving music. or listening to it a lot. Daily. More than most people. Or right now, recently, being in the mood for music. Me, myself, and I by Beyonce was the next song. Uh, feminine energy, thinking about herself, wanting to be out of a relationship, deciding that she's she's going to move on or it's time to be done. Feeling like she can't depend on the masculine. He's taking her for granted. He's not supporting her. She's out. She's out on her own. She's out to do her own thing. That being the response to the masculine's energy because his message itself, the way he delivers his message, being toxic, being starting an argument, it being problematic. And then the next song was I Should Have Cheated by Keisha Cole. <laughs> kind of crazy some of you being some of you being accused of certain things I should have did exactly what you accused me of some of you it's cheating for some of you it's other things but 
stealing something, stealing something from someone, someone accusing you of stealing something from them, stealing their style, stealing their idea, stealing their, their, their lover, accusing you for shit, but it's like, you actually did exactly what you're accusing me of, because I didn't do that. Some of you, like, I had plenty of opportunities, I didn't do that. But I should have. But some of you, someone's just pissing you off or they just cheated you so bad. You, It's not even about them accusing you of anything. You're like, I should have cheated on your ass. Why well, should have never stopped cheating on your ass? Some of you was cheating already and you stopped. I'm going to be better. I'm going to turn over a new leaf. And you actually fucking did. You dropped all your hoes for somebody. And they turned out to be stressing you out. You know, y'all breaking up or y'all having really toxic, a really bad ending, a really bad breakup or a really bad argument. Some of you, it's something, it, it's over, but y'all still together. It's over, but y'all still together. It's over, but y'all still running the same circles. It's over, but y'all still have to co-parent. Y'all still have to coexist. Y'all still live together. That type of energy. Or it's over, but y'all still married. <laughs> In your heart, it's over, but not really. It ain't over. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. I don't sing. It ain't never gonna be over. Ooh. Ooh. Right, but you wanted to be over. Some of you wanted to be over. The next song was Unthinkable by Alicia Keys. There being someone else that you're looking at, like, yo. Some of you daydreaming. Some of you been thinking about this for so long. Some of you been... What if you just left this person and we just be together? What if you just say, fuck her, and I just say, fuck him, and we just do it? Or vice versa? What if we just do it? What if we just do it? Wanting someone to be on the same page, thinking like this, daydreaming about this. Thinking that this is how it's supposed to be the whole time. Thinking that someone is with the wrong person that's supposed to be with you. Or vice versa. Praying that it's mutual. Someone has done the unthinkable for some of you. Someone has done the unthinkable. Someone has said the unthinkable. There's not coming back from it. You broke somebody's heart. You hurt someone. It being mutual. You two doing this shit to each other. Someone did the unthinkable to someone that they really loved. They never wanted to do that. Never wanted to go that route. It breaking them. It bring you. Some of you have said something you never wanted to say. Aired out some dirty laundry or disrespect that someone called them out their name a certain type of way or had to tell them had had to put up a boundary you never wanted to put up with someone that type of thing it being the unthinkable it changing everything for some of you someone you I keep I'm gonna say that someone pushed you to, to this limit because you really believe this you really feel this way that someone pushed you to the limit of having to say something uh, that that really it it breaks your heart more than it breaks their heart for you to say it, for you to be honest, for you to hurt them this way. You're really trying to be patient, but they never stop pushing. They constantly saying things to you that you don't like. Never stop. They never stop. You taking it for as long as you can take, and then you saying something that you can never take back. You taking it for as long as you can take because you know that they're sensitive. They're fragile somehow. That all it would take is is one thing to to really shatter their whole world, and and they push you to the point of having to do this, and then you do this, and you feel terrible about it. It breaks your heart to do it, and they really they they milk it, they run with it, they're always gonna run with it, they're never gonna forget it, they're never going to. Well, this is you. Pick what side you want. Pick what side you want. And being really sad, you're being really heartbroken, you're really missing someone. There being another there being an energy of there of, of hurting someone that you really loved or that really loved you. That was really a friend or supposed to be a sister for some of you. Or a brother for some of you. They're really feeling this way. Someone having new sisters and brothers having a sister and brother you don't know you have to get to know you're not doing this <laughs> they're being work to do you having two workloads to do you're being pulled in different directions either way you're not going to make somebody happy either way something suffers Either way, you need to be okay with 
walking away from one responsibility until it's time for you to do it did, or delegating, letting someone else being okay with uh, having to wear multiple hats which means you're not always going to be available. You can't always be in one, in, in, in all. You can't be in all places at one time. Having to let someone else take over, that may be giving you the side eye because they have to handle something else. But it's somehow being part of their responsibility too. They should be okay with this. Making someone, holding someone more accountable. Are you requiring more of them now? More help from them now? This thing doesn't run unless we do it as a family. We do it together. Everybody has a part to play. Anyway, let's pray. Uh, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, spirit guides, spirit animals, soul sky universe, please allow me to tap in with my Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node to see... Uh, What's going on with them at this time? What messages you have for them at this time? Please protect this space from any negative energies and only allow energies of love and light to enter. I say thank you, Spirit. My 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 babies, my newborns, my my twins, they're up. They're with their father. He's feeding them. It's time to eat. I hear them crying. And Aries are really mad. And Aries is really mad and Aries is crying and Aries is complaining. Or a fire sign. Doesn't have to be an Aries. It can be a Leo. It can be a Sagittarius. <laughs> there being two of something. Two people. Them two, they, two of them not being alike. Two people, but they're not alike. Two people who do similar things, but their, their job descriptions are not the same. Their job descriptions are, the job descriptions are not the same. Someone mistaking this, someone thinking you're trying to be like me. Meanwhile, they're very different. Uh, one is actually bigger than the other. One is way bigger than the other. It being a power struggle about who comes first or who's more important or who's in charge, who's number one and who's number two. Meanwhile, clearly, one is bigger than the other. One is bigger than the other. Mm. One platform is bigger than the other. One person is bigger in size than the other. One person's, they get to call this shot. Two people being in, in a relationship and thinking somehow that They're, they have more say-so than the other. It was like Divine Feminine having more say-so than Divine Masculine. The, dy the dynamic being set up this way, being very unfair to Divine Masculine. Him feeling like he doesn't have much space to move. That the, the relationship is being, being a lot of uh, do as I say, not as I do. Someone's really upset. <laughs> Taurus masculine cries a lot. Taurus masculine is crying. Someone's really emotional. Wanting to keep someone trapped. Wanting to keep someone under their, their thumb. Wanting to be in. Really wants to cry. Crying on the inside. One, going through a lot of emotions. Not one, not feeling like it's a safe space to be open. To be open with how they, how he feels about something, but feeling locked out of something very important. It's some feeling locked out or left out of somewhere of home. Of home. Of somewhere that that he wants to be with, where, where his friends are. Feeling like he can't access it. It triggering him, it triggering childhood wounds to be kicked out of something, kicked out of the house, kicked out of this, having on somebody being kicked out of the house. It went down, a fight broke out. Someone was kicked out of the family. 
some of you, somebody was kicked out of your family. For some of you, there was three, there was three. There's three, there's three daughters. Somebody has three daughters, there's three women, three daughters. That's for some of you. Somebody was kicked out of a community, that's for others of you. There could be up to three people who were supposed to be together, working together on the same team. One got kicked out. Somebody somebody getting kicked out with somebody being pregnant or somebody being banished somehow. There being a, 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 a masculine energy and a feminine energy that run in the same circles. For some of you, it's two earth signs. They run in the same community, run in the same circle. Can't avoid each other, can't avoid hearing about each other. Constantly got to hear each other's names. It just, it just, it throws, uh, adds to the fire, adds fuel to the fire. The connection being very spiritual, actually. A masculine being on the short end of a stick, on the, having, being on the wrong end of the stick, or having the short end, however the hell you say that shit. Being on the wrong end of going up against something, going up against a Leo, that there could be an air sign and a Leo going at it, you could be watching. It could be a Gemini and a Leo going at it, you could be watching. Somebody loses, somebody's losing money, so they're pissed off. Someone's not getting any attention, someone's not getting any money. Someone's mad at the money being spent on you, the money that you're making. You're mad that someone else is, so someone is taking it out financially. A feminine energy is up and a masculine is not. He's mad because her pockets are stronger than his. She works for spirit though. Mm. Someone being very witchy, someone works for spirit. Someone works for the divine. So she's blessed, she's abundant. Masculine being very angry at that. Seeing that you have something, seeing that you have something that's about to pop off, something that is really magical, or it already has popped off, someone doesn't like that. Someone broke a contract. There, there, was, there was a contract, there was an agreement. It was broken. It was broken. Someone walked away to go heal us, to go heal themselves, or go heal others. They had a vision of something bigger than, than being under someone else's thumb and not being a problem. Someone wanting you under their thumb and you're giving them some pushback, and so they put, they kicked you out. You're not wanting to do what they want you to do. You're just wanting to be friends. Some of you, they, they, they realize the error of their ways after it all went sour. They feel really bad. They kind of feel like they can't help themselves. Being really toxic. You being really patient to the best of your abilities. Someone else being, being really patient with you for some of you. Someone being really patient with you, waiting to see if you would come around, if you would acknowledge them, if you would congratulate them, if you would offer them something, if you would do the right thing. Someone having a divine opportunity and it being worthy of acknowledgement or, or praise. See if you would do the honorable thing and you didn't. Someone being very angry. You being very angry, there being a Leo out here too, I keep hearing that. After the Leo calms down, they realize they may have been wrong or about it all, or some, or you thinking uh, the the worst, them thinking the worst about you, someone thinking the worst about a spiritual healer, thinking that 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 you know you were you were evil or you you do you do bad things or you know you you lie to people, you you misguide people somehow, you know, or you're sneaky somehow, thinking something's wrong with you, or you know, or you're not. You don't know God. 
Meanwhile, thinking that you're a monster too. Somebody thinking that you're a monster somehow. Meanwhile, you're really gentle. You're really soft. Or this is, you know, are you, you or somebody who at one point in time could pacify somebody who was, who was really like a tyrant. You're being tired of trying to pacify this ty tyrant. Keep them calm. Trying to use the best, this, the, 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 trying to use, um, your best judgment when moving with moving moving according trying to move accordingly you know trying to navigate this person's mood swings but the divine not having it causing you know they're being real divi divine intervention coming in like not nah, we're gonna shake all this shit up I don't like this I'm gonna show you that this person is isn't isn't living right isn't doing the right thing isn't thinking about what they're doing isn't for you, isn't making the right decisions for, you, for what y'all are building or for your family, your relationship. There being a lot of love though when it's all said and done out here that was hidden, that is hidden. There being a masculine who had a lot of love, had feelings or is, is, is truly over emotionally. It's, it's very, it could, it could be somebody's father, it's very dominating, could be in Aries as well. You know, but this energy could be you or there could be an Aries out here, but the masculine feeling very dominating, very controlling, wanting liking things how they like things, but being emotional so so shit can hit the fan, it gets really crazy. They lash out, they do things really really quickly, say things they don't mean. Things that they can't take back. A masculine has thought over and over several times about Reaching out to a feminine, sending a message, sending a text message, writing, stopping himself every time. It doesn't have to be to a feminine, to somebody, but who has had a new beginning, who has moved on somehow. And there being something that can't be ignored, it hurting very much. And then it has to be addressed. Someone moved on and went, went to get something, acquire something that can't be ignored, it has to be congratulated, it has to be acknowledged. But there is... You know, there's something wrong with something. There's an elephant in the room. It needs to be addressed. It's time. And a masculine thinking about it, going to send this text message, going to write whatever, write this, me write this message, write this letter, send this email, whatever it is, and stopping themselves dead in their tracks. Seeing a feminine energy be so abundant, so... What, what seems for him on the outside be so happy. He doesn't even know what to say. He doesn't want to get in the middle of it. Also, someone thinking that you wouldn't be shit without them. That you would fail. Or what you have wouldn't make you no money. <laughs> Being really mistaken about the tricks you got up your sleeve. Because some of you, someone was offering you money. And you had your nose turned up at them like, the fuck you offering me money for? I got more than you. No, you don't. Some of you, no, you don't. Some of you, what you have was given to you. you you're real entitled. Or someone you're dealing with is, is real entitled. They have a silver spoon. You got it out the mud, and that's why you got it out the mud, and you continue. It, it being really hard at one point in time, and that's why moving forward, it's going to come to you a lot easily. Have you on that, that making money in your sleep energy? Or it already has come to you a lot easily. Now you make money in your sleep. It just keeps coming in. You have it worked up this way, you set it up this way, the money keeps coming in. You ain't never down. It wasn't always like this. Nobody gave you nothing. You got it from the mud. That's why it's different. That's why it hits different. This person thinking that they have something over you because and you and you working really hard for what you got and being being ready to give so freely. Yo, if you need anything, you let me know. You need some food, you need some support, you need some money, you need something. Let me know. I got you, let me know. And someone looking at you. You know, who's been someone who's been given a lot, giving, given everything, looking at you like, well, what the hell can you give me? What you, I got, I got everything I need. You know, I'm balling. It's like, you know, you got mommy and daddy shit, or you got support. You got. I'm just saying, if that ever runs out and you need some extra support, I'm over here. You're trying to offer your support to someone who who they they need so much help. But they so stubborn, they so mad at you, they don't want to forgive you, they don't want to let you back in. But they need you. 
There's so much on their plate that they need you. You're being really tired, Taurus. You're making me really tired. Having a lot to get, a lot, something that you, you haven't, I'm going to say this to you. Some of you have two options looking at something that looks a lot heavier, a lot deeper, a lot heavier. It looks like it's a lot more work. It looks like it's going to take a lot more out of you. And so you, you, you're looking at something that seems like it's going to be easier, easier way to do something, an easier route to take. I'm only going to do the bare minimum or something, that, that being an option. You, <laughs> it's two messages. Okay, all right, all right, slow down. One being that you're seeing something that looks like it's 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 really overbearing and it being an easier option. And you're not taking this. You, you're not, you need to uh, shift your perspective about the amount of work that it's going to be. Knowing that it's not going to be too much work for you. That you have to go through it. That you have to. That you will get through it. That you get through more more shit than you realize. You do. You do a lot more work, a lot more efficiently than you even realize. Some of you do things in your sleep. You work in your sleep. You get it done. In ways other people don't. You don't. You don't even know how you do it. You don't. For some of you, you haven't slept, and I don't know how long you don't sleep very well. You're not sleeping very well. When you're partying that hard, or you're, you're, you know, late nights, early mornings, everything being a blur somehow, having too much going on to be focused on anything in particular. Your mind is always in four different directions at once. I had another download, but it went away. You get messages, but they go away. There's things you want to say somebody about somebody who was there, but they went away. Somebody always knows what you, what you, they know how to finish your sentence. They just get you. They used to, but they went away. You let somebody go away who's a real, who's a real gem, who's a real diamond. Someone who you really want to know, really want to get to know. Someone that you go away, and that you are someone that they really want to have in their corner. You really are amazing. You really are someone they want to know. They still want to know, even though they said some really mean things to you or pretended that they hated you or they were over you. They're not. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm tired. If you're interested in booking with me, you can book with me at uh, clearsightconsulting.net. Uh... I love you so much. It's your girl, Marish, the Big Body Benz. Run, tell them. The Big Body High Priestess. Somebody come see this. Peace.